and with early voting officially underway here in the borderland, political experts say the races to watch are the ones with multiple candidates running for ballot. Yeah, that's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with our expert on how these local races are faring. She joins us live from downtown El Paso with what you can expect when you're heading out to the polls. Tani. Andy and Natasia, while eligible voters can cast their ballots at any of the 33 polling sites across the county, Dr. Richard Bineda explained that the outreach to voters is not as extensive. Dr. Bineda expects a large voter turnout for this midterm election, particularly due to the race between Beto O'Rourke and Governor Greg Abbott. While that headline matchup can affect local city council races, Bineda explains that there has not been a lot of groundwork from the candidates to get the voter turnout that they need and could affect the race. Mailers that drop after early voting starts um, are, are still potentially effective, but remember the assumption, especially in El Paso County, is we've got a bulk of our voters that love to do early voting. So if you haven't gotten those mailers by this past Friday or Saturday, any mailer that drops after that, the risk is that you've already voted. For races like City Council District 1 and 8, where there are multiple candidates, Pineda does expect that to go into a runoff due to the number of candidates. If you are taking advantage of early voting, you need to make sure that you have the correct identification, which you can find on our website, KTSM.com. Live from Central El Paso, Tony Davis, KTSM 9 News. Tony, thank you.